Welcome back to the adventure. Today we're talking about what qualifies as an old computer. The general rule of thumb is hardware five years of age or older is considered old, making the term not helpful when looking at options for what to do with an old computer. So we are going to classify hardware by its specifications in relation to the operating system and software they are suited to run. Windows 10 Capable Windows 10 was released in July of 2015, making the original systems that shipped with it pre-installed over five years old. Windows 10 actually has broad hardware compatibility with requirements at a one gigahertz processor and one gig of RAM. This allows Windows 10 to run on desktop PCs, laptops, and tablets. These minimum requirements are the same for Windows 7, meaning that Windows 10 should run on any system that shipped with Windows 7. The target hardware is a socket LGA775 Core 2 CPU or socket AM2 and AM3 CPUs with two gigs of RAM. A note about minimum requirements. This is an entire video in and of itself, along with the Windows Experience Index and what the actual user experience is. Generally speaking, doubling the minimum requirements will make for a more pleasant user experience. These systems are great candidates for all of the options listed in the previous video on what you can do with an old computer. Windows XP era systems. Microsoft officially supported Windows XP from December of 2001 to April of 2014. This means there is a range of hardware that works with Windows XP. On the low end, we have Pentium 2 and Pentium 3 processors starting at 450 MHz with 120 MB of RAM. On the high end, we have Pentium 4 CPUs with 512 MB of RAM. These systems are not suited for options like being repurposed as a home server, a DVR, or a kid's first computer, as they struggle to run the necessary software to fill those roles. However, these systems can be used for video surveillance and some types of servers like a file server. Windows 9X systems. Here we have another range for target hardware. Windows 95 was released in August of 1995. Systems that shipped with Windows 95 are over 25 years old now. Systems that shipped with Windows ME are over 20 years old now. On the low end, we have 486 CPUs with 16 megabytes of RAM. On the high end, we have Pentium 3 CPUs with 32 megabytes of RAM. On the low end, with systems running Windows 95, there is still value in them being donated. Educational software doesn't require that much processing power to run, and computers with these specifications are still way better than not having a computer at all. For high-end systems, there are some relatively recent versions of Linux that will run on the hardware, if there is at least 128 megabytes of RAM. If you take that one step further to 512 megs of RAM, you can still use these PCs to run as an external firewall or a weather station. MS-DOS and Windows 3X systems. Windows 3X isn't an operating system as we know them today. It's an operating environment that runs on top of DOS, meaning that these are essentially high-end DOS systems. The target hardware is a 386 CPU with two to eight megabytes of RAM. Of the 15 options, what could possibly apply to these systems, right? Well, working with the hardware is always an option, and with some experience in soldering, you may be able to repair or maintain these systems, which preservation is always better than recycling or destroying them. Pure DOS systems. Finally, yet importantly, we have what could be called low-end DOS systems, at least in terms of these classifications. The target hardware is 386 CPUs or below with 512K of RAM. While it seems like we may have exhausted all options, and there's nothing else that these systems can possibly be used for, I submit to you two possibilities. Working with the hardware? Always. Soldering? Maybe. Retro gaming? Absolutely. And there is another option that wasn't in the previous list. 
the sleeper. In the simplest terms, a sleeper is new hardware in an old PC case. This has some gray area in terms of destruction because modern components don't exactly fit in old PC cases. With some fabrication, you may be able to make it look aesthetically similar to the original, but damage is damage. Also, you have to put the old PC components into a new case for the bonus swag. If you go this route, avoid doing irreparable harm to valuable and rare systems. Thanks for stopping by. See you next video.